what's going on? Hey, I just got lunch. Uh, I just got done talking with Miss Jackie, and she asked if we could all clean up this mess because someone's got to sure. get downstairs. So if you could help me, that'd be awesome. Of course, of course. Let me quick because I guess someone else needs the basement. Oh, do you want to use a bucket? Uh, I think my way is working just fine. It'll go a lot faster if you use a bucket. Um, I guess I'll just let you do the ball since you know how to do it. All right. Tina, can you just do in stacks of three? That's so they don't tip over. They don't. It's just kind of how it's done. Um. Okay. I've never done it like that. I will just do these pillows here. That's not even neat. What the heck? I don't think it really matters. I just want to do a nice job. Okay. okay. I'm going to dust. Hey, Tina, can I make sure that you just get the ledge up there though, really well? <laughs> Well, what does it look like I'm doing? You feel that? Oh my gosh. What was that? That, ladies, is me, Father Spirit. Oh. Ladies, over here. Look over here. Oh. That's right. Ladies, look behind your shoulder. On that wall right there are the fruit of the spirits. That's what I'm here to talk to you about. And the main one that we're going to talk about today is love. Do you feel like you were just showing each other love there? Kind of. Uh, I think you need to think again. Ladies, I need your help. Right over here, would you mind having a seat? I think we need to go into session here because here we are. Laketon Bethel. What is Laketon Bethel? A church. It is a church. And in church, how are we supposed to treat one another? Like we want to be treated. Absolutely. With loving kindness. And remember... God sent Jesus to die for your sins. He also sent the Holy Spirit, which is me, to guide you through life, okay? To, to help guard against sin. And so that, again, that you would apply the knowledge that I'm going to give you, those fruits right over there, to your lives, okay? Remember, God talked about in, in the Bible here, Galatians. Galatians says here, the Holy Spirit, that's me, Produces this kind of fruit in our lives. It's love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. God gave us these things. He sent us because, again, we're here as his image. Do you feel like you were reflecting his image here? Not really. Mm -mm. I don't think so either. You know, it's no misunderstanding here. It's no mistake that love is the very first fruit. It's the most important because God is filled with love. And God gave you his love if you let that love come out. Because again, you are supposed to be the image of God. You know what? I think I got a better way of trying to illustrate this. Do you want to participate with me? Yeah, sure. I've got a little activity. Miss Ashley, I'm gonna have you come over. <clears throat> Miss Ashley, talk to me really quick about someone who is really important in your life. Well, Hadley, my daughter. Guess what? Father Spirit knew that. We have Hadley right here. So this is Hadley. Okay. okay. That's what that represents. This bucket here, which has water in it, represents your love. This sponge is your life. Okay? Okay. What I want you to do is, how much love can you get out of this bucket in your life to put in Hadley? So, let's see if you can fill her glass. Do you think you can do that? I think it would be pretty close. Go for it. Now, we know that you have a lot of love for your daughter. And you're sure, oh, it's okay to spill. So it's going over a little bit. This it doesn't actually, really look like enough. That's all that's left. You know what? That is. Because again, you only have so much love. If you had more of God's love in you, you would probably be able to share that a little bit more. Yeah. Okay? But we know that sometimes things get in our way. Conflict, enviness, jealousy. Other things come into mind. Things that we want and prevent others from having. Yeah. So you only have so much love. Miss Tina, Yeah. I want you to help me illustrate God's love. Are you ready to do that? I am. Name me somebody that's really important in your life. Oh, gosh, I have a lot of them, but how about my baby girl, Izzy? Father Spirit knew that. I have Izzy right there. Yeah. Now, you're going to be representing God's love. Okay. Do you think God has a little love or a lot of love? A lot of love. God has a lot of love. You're exactly right on that. So once again, this represents Izzy. All right. This bucket is God's love. Okay. 
And this right here is your life sharing God's love. Do you think you have enough love in that bucket, God's love, to fill up your oh, cup? Oh, definitely. I sure I do. Oh, I didn't quite get it with one spot. Is there any more love left in there? Oh, there is a lot of love in this bucket. You know what? You're right up to the top. Is there any more love? Yeah. You could even overflow that, I couldn't you? Yes. Let me ask you, do you think there's any enough love there for Hadley? Of course. Just fill that. Fill that right up to the top and it's overflowing. Mm -hmm. Any more love left for Ashley? Yeah, I think so. Show me how to do it. You got to get yeah. going. Is there enough in there, do you think? Oh, yeah. Oh. There's a lot of love in here. Keep sharing that. It's like this love is endless. Keep going. Got to have any more love in there? He's got a lot. He's got more love. And we know what to do with Yeah, there's just Well, let me ask love. you. Do you think that there's still some love left over for others? Yes. Because this could actually represent neighbors. Do you think there's any love left over for the neighbors? Uh, yeah. Boy, you've got to be just about running out of that love, aren't you? No, it's not even anywhere near It's like an unlimited supply of love. Keep it going. Any more love left? Yes. We way have just easier than even so much that. love in here for everybody. And you know what? That is the point of this lesson. You by yourself, Ashley, only have so much love. Unless you open up your mind, your heart, to what God's love is. But here's the whole thing. If you just keep that inside of you and you're not spreading it around, what good is that really doing? So think about that. One thing I want you to go and talk about right now is think about how you were acting here today and think about your neighbors out there. Is there anywhere else that you could be spreading God's love? Think about that. Talk okay. about that. Mm -hmm. well, I mean, I know you said neighbor, but she doesn't really live right next to me, but there's a friend of mine who just had surgery. I really need to go there and visit her. Maybe bring her some meals or something. I think that would be a really good idea. Okay. And I know for me, I'm really sorry, Tina, because I asked you for your help, and then I told you that you were helping me wrong. Well, I got all in a tizzy because she said fast, so I am sorry that I was telling you what to do. Your way was fine. Sorry. I think it's just important <clears throat> that we both remember that, you know, in the Bible, Jesus tells us to, like Father Spirit said, put him first in Jesus and our neighbors. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to work on showing you love better by being kind, because I, I probably shouldn't have told you everything you were doing wrong next time I'll try and... Be more nice and let you know what you're doing right. Maybe help. And I'll just remember always that God is love and we are to be too. Well, thanks for being so nice, Tina. Let's go let Miss Jackie know that we're done. All, All right. right.